All right, third graders, um, welcome back. Um, what I thought I would do today is walk you through how to navigate um, the, the sites for this next biome assignment. So once you have made it to uh, the Google Classroom, for whichever school um, you are at, this one happens to be uh, this particular school, and the other one would have the other initials. I'm not going to say which one because, you know, we're talking about YouTube videos. So, um, when you get to our Google um, Classroom page, you're going to click on Classwork, and you are going to scroll down to where it says Biomes. And the biome says, let's start here. So we're going to click on that. And um, just a warning, you know, this is a very long-term project that I've been doing for several years. Um, your science teacher and I have collaborated on this for quite some time. And it has evolved into uh, a cross-curricular pro uh, program or assignment. Um, but that's basically what that says. And you feel free to read it if you want to. Um, so what you'll do once you get to the biomes is you're going to scroll down until you find this right here. And it says find a park, um, U.S. National Park Service. So we're going to click on that link. And this is the page that you see. So once you get to this page, you're going to scroll down. And there is a map of the United States. Now, in the uh, Google Classroom biome uh, page, I will post a uh, document that lists all of the national parks in the United States. Because believe it or not, there are a few states that don't have a national park in, in that particular state. So there's a lot of other different types of parks. There's historical sites and historical parks, and there's landmarks, and there's things like that. But once we start looking, we're only going to look for um, the listings that says National Park. So what I wanted you guys to do with this first class period was just kind of explore this map and see uh, which states have national parks and which ones don't. So most of us are familiar with the, the Great Smoky Mountains because that is the park that is in our state. And so I'm going to navigate us to that one first, and then I'll show you how to find some others, and then I will just let you do some exploring. So I am going to hover over the map of the United States. I'm going to find Tennessee. So I would click on Tennessee, and it's going to pop up as soon as my internet lets me okay and then if you wanted to you could come over here and zoom in and you can see here is the um, outline of the state of Tennessee and then there are all these like places marked on the map like Fort Donaldson or Shiloh uh, uh, or Stones River or you know uh, Chickamauga whatever but we are going to look and see if one of these um, areas has NP after it. Right there, NP, that means National Park. So what I can do is I can um, zoom back out a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and scroll down on my page. And that says Tennessee. And I know that I'm looking for um, a link that has a national park with it. So for example, this says National Historic Site. Not that that's not important, but we're looking for national parks, okay? So that one says National Scenic Trail, um, National River and Recreational Area. That is actually not far from where I went to high school, believe it or not. Um, I'm just gonna keep scrolling down through here, and there it is. Um, even if this says National Historical Park, um, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the one that says National Park. So this one is the one I'm looking for. And I'm going to click on Great Smoky Mountains right there. So 
That brings me to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park Service uh, web page, and that's just for this um, national park. So there is a picture of the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, if you scroll down through here, there is um, lots of information on the home page. Um, and there's you can you're you can click on any of this. That's fine. If you wanted to go see the black bears, or you wanted to explore Cades Cove, or looked at wildflowers, or you know things to do, uh, current conditions. That's like what the temperatures like, the weather conditions right now, and then camping information. Oh no. Okay, there we go. So if you look right here underneath where it says Great Smoky Mountains, there's these tabs right across here. Um, this one will give you um, information, things to do, um, places to go, um, just general information about the park. But if you go to here where it says learn about the park, what you can do is you can scroll down through there and it's going to give you news about the park right now. But since this is an art assignment, this portion is the art portion of the assignment, we're going to go here to uh, photos and multimedia. And you're welcome to look at anything you want to, boys and girls, but this one is the one that I'm going to focus on. So it says multimedia presentations, and then it also says webcams, and we're going to talk about that. But I'm going to go to the multimedia presentations, and I'm going to see what's here. So I clicked on that, and I'm going to scroll down, and it's going to, you know, it might have videos, it might be a slideshow, um, but it's going to tell me about uh, specific things that have happened or are going on in this particular park. So, you know, back in 2011, there was a tornado that came through the park. So if you wanted to watch a video um, podcast about that, you could watch that. There's also a video about white nose syndrome, which is, um, it's a, it's a disease that some of the local uh, native bats are catching, and there are um, ways that we as visitors to these parks can um, help stop spreading that particular disease. So if you wanted to learn about that, you could. Um, climate change, uh, climate change and red salamanders, you know, there are pictures of, you know, the elk that... Um, are in the area so there's all kinds of things that you can scroll down through here and look at um spring wildflowers that might be kind of nice too um and then there's that um you could also go back up here and go back to photos and multimedia you can scroll over and go to webcams webcams are really cool um, because you, it takes you directly to the park right now, what's happening um, in that park real time, okay? So that means um, whatever this camera is pointing at in this area, it's going to show us what's happening um, in that particular part of the park. Um, so let's just click on one. Let's see what's over here. This says purchase knob. So let's click on that and we can watch and see what's happening. So if I scroll down, it's going to show me what um, it looks like from this webcam in the Great Smoky Mountains area right now. So um, let's see what else we can find here. We can, uh, well, uh, yep, there we go. We can make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. That's You can see that there's snow on in the Smokies right now. Um, you can see some of these points that have some snow on, so that would be a much higher altitude. Um, let's see, scroll down. And it will update every now and then. So, like, a lot of the other um, national parks, it gives you a countdown and it updates the scene um, every 60 seconds. So there's always a chance that you might be able to see some of the wildlife um, in the parks by watching the webcams. 
I think bears in the Smoky Mountains like to move around quite a bit in the morning, or like really, really early morning. So you'd have to, you know, watch while you're eating breakfast or something. Um, let's see. I'm going to, I want to get out of this air thing. So I'm going to go up here to my back arrow and I'm going to back click. Oh, I got to close this page out. So there we go. So that's the one I just visited. I could click on any of these. Um, Clangman's Dome, um, Twin Creeks. There's another one behind it there. I don't know what it is, though. Um, Look Rock. What's this? Newfound Gap. Clangman's Dome. Clangman's Dome was closed the other day, but we can go and see if maybe it's back open. And maybe we can watch what's going on in Clangman's Dome right now. So... Oh, it's out of service for the winter. Clayman's Dome is one of the highest points in the Smoky Mountains. And so um, there's a lot of snow and ice on up there because it is so high in altitude. But I think we can look at Newfound Gap. So we'll just look at one more here and then we'll go see another um, page and see what we can see. So this is the view to the southeast part of Newfound Gap. And that's an area that Newfound Gap means that's what that particular area of the park is called. It might be the name of a trail that you take to get there. It might just be what that region has been called for years. Um, but here you can see, um, ooh, snow depth, nine inches. What about that? That'd be some good sledding right now. So that's what it looks like right now at 2 p.m. Pacific, oh, sorry, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because they are an hour ahead of us here in this area. So that's kind of what that would look like. So if you wanted, that is, you know, how you can kind of navigate around the parks. Um, some parks have more um, information than others. Um, I know for a fact, like um, some of the big name parks like um, Yellowstone or the Rocky Mountains, um, some of the really, really massive um, hundreds and hundreds of acres um, parks have more web um, cams and things. So let's see. Let's go. We'll go to Yellowstone because I know that's in Montana. So. I'm going to click on Montana and I'll wait for my computer to load. Oh, there's Yellowstone. I don't know if it'll let us. But here is um, Glacier National Park. That's to the north. Uh, Bighorn Canyon, but that's not a national park. We're looking for the NP. So let's see. Will it let me go? Oh, I may have to back out and go to Wyoming. So let me back out and I'll go to Wyoming. I'm going to click on Wyoming. There it is. So Wyoming has um, a few. You've got the Grand Tetons National Park, Grand Teton, and then there's also Yellowstone National Park. So I know, you know, if I scroll down through here, underneath here, I'm going to be looking for um, Grand Teton or Yellowstone. That is pronounced Butte by the way. I know what it looks like, but it's Butte. Okay, so there's Grand Teton. Let's just go to Grand Tetons because I haven't messed around in Grand Tetons. So there's the Grand Tetons, and that's what those mountain ridges, you know, are referred to as. Um, all right, play in the snow. That looks like fun. I'm going to try not to chase too many squirrels here. Okay, so we're going to go to learn about the park. Um, there's nature. We could click on that. It's going to show us animals. Um, it even breaks it down into what kinds of animals you could find in the park. Plants, the types of plants that you would find. Um, natural features and ecosystems. So that is going to be an area that you're going to want to look at when we start really focusing in on um, what biome our um, park is in um, and it is subject to wildland fires you know there are fires in these parks so 
there's lots of things you can explore in these um, drop down menus. So let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about that. There we go. Um, so if I go back up here, photos and multimedia, there's a photo gallery, there's multimedia presentations, and there's the webcams again. I'm just gonna hit this photo gallery right quick because I know there's gonna be tons and tons of pictures and there we go. So here's one photo gallery. This is just the landscape. So this is gonna be pictures of what the park looks like inside the Grand Teton National Park. And it has 176 images, if you see right there. Um, down below there, there are um, plant images. If you scroll down below there, there are wildlife images. Wow, a lot of wildlife images. Look at that, 113. And then um, visitors to the area and some history. Oh, wow, look at that, y'all. I think we should take a field trip. Okay. Um, there's some more best, like some of the things that people like the most. And then students involved. Ooh, volunteers. That might be something when you get older you think about. Um, exploring that you could go and volunteer in the park and get to stay that would be fun all right so um, if I want to look at these pictures I can click here I could click there I'm just gonna go here because I know that that's gonna work so and then there are different areas in the park so this is Cascade Canyon main canyon there's Death Canyon and Creek uh, Avalanche Canyon um, Garnet Canyon, um, Paintbrush Canyon, Bradley Lake, Taggart, Taggart Lake, Jackson Lake. Oh, wow, we may have to look at Jackson Lake. So there's tons and tons and tons and tons of photos. And look at there, look at all those pages that you can go to. Um, and I'm going to guess that there um, also these pictures have been taken at different times in the year just because um, you see snow on way up here doesn't mean that it's going to be that cold um, down here. And that has to do with altitude. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? Um, it's going to have to do with altitude. And we will talk about that a little bit later um, and explain that what altitude means a little bit more. I want to look at, oh, come on now, work with me here. There we go. So I'm going to look at this one. Wow. There we go. Hmm. So, ladies and fellas, um, there, there's just a bazillion parks that you can visit. There are um, all kinds of areas across this amazing land that we get to live in um, for you to explore. But it all starts by going back to the Google Classroom. You're gonna find a park. You're gonna scroll down to where the map is and you're going to pick a state that you want to explore and see if um, there are um, any parks in that area. You can click on that state. You're gonna look for the NP, which means National Park. And you know, look, there's another one right there. So I know when I scroll down here, there it's gonna be National Park, click on that. And then you can play in those drop down menus. So um, I know this was kind of a long video explaining what we were doing here, but um, Sometimes it helps to see someone else do it. So um, I thought I would try my first uh, screencast here and uh, walk you guys through how to use that particular site. So get on there, play around, find some parks that you're really interested in maybe um, doing your art project about, your art assignment. Um, Kind of try to narrow it down to a top, you know, two or three, and then we'll have to pick one from there. So until then, uh, I thank you guys for hanging in there. And I know this was a long video, um, but I really wanted to make sure you understood how to use all this. Anyway, so I will see you next time. And I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your day.